home. It's an 8,000 square foot home. There's a lot, there, we need an intercom that works and that works well. So each room, each area has its own phone so that people can communicate from one area of the home to the other area. Is Mr. Marks accurate that somebody else had started to try to install this system? There was a low voltage contractor who laid the wiring okay. and actually installed the brain, which is the underlying hardware that coordinates okay. all the phones, but never got it up and running and had told me that he needed somebody else to finish the the work. Did he do the work that he was supposed to do correctly? I'm not technical enough to know. Fair enough. I, yeah, I, I don't know. So you claim that from the outset this was a $4,800 job and that was supposed to cover everything. And I also made it very clear that if there were going to be extras, tell me up front. Okay. Let me know what it's actually going to cost so I can evaluate my options. Did you expect that to be in writing for each individual cost? It could have simply been a conversation. Okay. Probably would have been an email exchange just to confirm, etc. But it, I, there should have been some communication saying, hey, if you do this, it's going to cost you this. And in fact, as part of the evidence, when there was some level of communication, I fully acknowledged that there was potentially going to be an excess, which, in fact, there was one excess charge that I did approve. And that was for the cabinet. Well, we're calling a brain cabinet. It's the upgrade, it's the basic hardware that coordinates the entire system. The hardware? Yes. So far, how much have you paid Mr. Marks? $5,000. What is your defense to having not paid him the additional $1,300 that even you admit he's owed? because the installation has never been completed. The intercoms have to be programmed, the directories have to be printed, and we have to go through a test to make sure that all the, the functionality on every single phone actually works as intended. Back to you, Mr. Marks. Clearly, you have a different recollection from the outset. Well, I would like to point out, that wasn't his claim when he walked me through and thanked me profusely for everything. He said it was perfect and thanked me for it. Okay, is that accurate? Because that's one of the things we saw, that you guys did a whole walkthrough and you said, oh, it looks amazing, it's fantastic. The placement of the phones okay. looked amazing. We didn't actually test to see if the phones worked. I've submitted pictures where the phones are missing directories. There's a portion of the, f of the face of the phone that's white, Yes. It's to, the, it's to the right of the numeric keypad. So wait, you're talking about like writing in that, that the, little... The white designation labels that are a dollar each or two dollars each. Yeah. But I don't know what, what goes to where. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even know if they're programmed to actually function and work. Have you tried them? We never actually sat down and went through that. I don't think it works, no. What makes you think it doesn't work? Because I don't even, I don't even know who I would be calling. Have you tried like pressing a button and saying like, can you hear me in room 24? No, you haven't tried. Ma'am, may I... Yeah, hold on one second. I just want to ask him. Because that's what you mean, right, by the intercoms? Yeah, I actually I think I did try, and it didn't, didn't actually function. All right, go ahead. You wanted to explain something. Well, I was going to say, it, yeah. it's literally, if you push the button, you will see on the display where it is calling to, so you can easily map those out. But I never was able to get to the designation labels because, of course, I understood immediately that he wasn't going to pay me for the, my equipment. So, right. of course, I'm not going to write designation labels out if, he's, if he owes me $3,800. So. Then I think we need to go back, and we need to look at the initial... Estimate. There's a huge portion that's missing here, ma'am, so I do need to in indicate that so you understand the entire case properly. Go ahead, please, yeah. Initially, when we were trying to set up the smaller system, he kept asking for more and more and more things. The smaller system will only accommodate 24 phones. He also has cordless phones in his home. To make the cordless phones work, you have to have these transmitters. The transmitters are viewed by the system like a hardwired phone. So if he has 27 hardwired phones and he has five transmitters, that's 32 devices. However, the smaller brain only will accommodate 24 phones or devices. Clearly, he's well beyond that. So I, I told him at some point when he kept adding more and more things, I said, OK, you're, you're beyond this capacity. We need a bigger brain. We need a bigger brain. Something everybody wants, but you actually have. <laughs> yes. So I told him I happen to have a used one, and they look very similar to this. Like little tiny chips. Well, the whole card slides in. Ah, that's an entire card. That's an entire card. Okay, got it. So okay. it's got and each space There's within. probably a dozen or so different types of cards. So I told him that I had a used system and had not only two of the cards he absolutely needs, but there was two cards that, although he can't use them right now, I'll throw them in, and perhaps in the future he could use so, those two so cards. This is not. this is not the representations that were originally made. And as the plaintiff just said, that the original hardware would only take 24 phones. If you look at his estimate, it shows labor to build 28 phones. Now, you tell me... I don't actually even remember that particular number as an estimate, but um, I know that there was no billing until we switched to the larger unit, and then I simply billed him for what was installed. <laughs>